there, there are some Christians who tell themselves, I don't deserve to be blessed. I don't deserve to become rich. I don't deserve. Hey, no. God wants you to be blessed. He's your Father. Amen? Amen. The third garbage is what I call resentment. Say resentment. resentment. And, you know, there's a... Can I tell you another story? There was this woman, a wife, and the husband became unfaithful to her. And so unfaithful, she got so angry. You know, he had another woman. And, and, and the woman just thought of revenge. And as she was thinking of revenge, she was walking on the street, and lo and behold, she stumbled upon a golden lamp. And she picked up a golden lamp, and she brushed it a bit. And when she brushed it a bit, behold, a genie appeared. And the genie said, Hello, thank you for releasing me from the golden lamp. I am your love genie. Tell me three wishes and I will obey. And the woman said, What's a love genie? And the genie said, Whatever you ask for, I will give twice that amount to the person that you are married to. And she said, No, I hate my husband. He two-timed me. He has another girl in his life. He broke our marriage vows. I do... No, no. You know, don't give him double. And the love genie said, I'm sorry, that's who I am. I can't go against my nature. Whatever you ask, I'll give double to your husband. And the woman said, Oh, okay. Give me one million pesos. And the genie said, Are you sure? Because I have to give two million to your husband. Oh, what can I do? That's what you are, a love genie. And so the genie said, snaps a finger, gives her one million, and gives two million to the husband. Boom! And so the woman said, second wish, make me beautiful. And so the genie said, are you sure? Because if I make you beautiful, I'll have to make your husband doubly handsome. And the woman said, what can I do? You're the love genie. And so the genie says, be beautiful. Boom! She was so beautiful. And then he snapped his finger and wherever the husband was, boom! The husband became doubly handsome. And then the woman said, here's my third wish. Give me a mild heart attack. <laughs> you know, it's normal normal to get angry when somebody hurts you. Amen? It's normal, in fact, for that woman to say, I want to have a mild heart attack so that my husband will have a massive, <laughs> fatal heart attack. You know? It's normal. That way, how many of you have been hurt before? You've been hurt before? Yes. It's normal to, to, to get angry. I'm going to share with you something very important. That, that read, read for me, read for me. It says Anthony DeMello, a quote from Anthony DeMello. It says, if you never condemned, you would never need to forgive. What was Anthony trying to say? He's saying, it's normal to go through that process of you, when you're hurt, to acknowledge that you got hurt. To say, this is wrong. What that person did is wrong. You know, you have to go through that stage of being angry. You, you, don't, you don't bypass that. You know, when somebody hurts you, you say, No, it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt. It didn't hurt. It didn't hurt. I'm not angry. I'm not angry. I'm not angry. You know, why not just acknowledge it? Say, I got hurt. That person did an injustice. No way. That was really bad. Ooh, ouch. You know, to go through the anger. But then you have to move on. Everybody say, move on. Last week, I was talking to a woman and uh, she was telling me, Brother Bo, my husband was unfaithful to me. And she was telling this to me and I, and, I, and I asked her, have you forgiven your husband? And she said, yes, I have. My husband asked for my forgiveness and I was able to forgive him. And I said, good for you. And then I asked a more difficult question. Have you forgiven the other woman? Have you give, forgiven the other woman? And she said, Brother Bo, I did not have a choice. I loved her answer. I did not have a choice. If I wanted to move on in life, I had to forgive. Did you get her answer? To forgive someone is not for that person only. In fact, it's primarily for you. 
You remove the inner garbage of resentment so that you could move on. Amen? Amen. Everybody say, I choose to forgive. I choose to forgive. In fact, that's the vocabulary I want you to learn. You know, when you're going through negative stress, let me go to example number one of garbage number one, negative stress. Don't say, I'm stressed. Say that with me. Don't say that anymore when you're going through stress. You should say, I choose to be stressed. Huh? No, Bo, I'm not choosing to be stressed. I'm just being stressed. That's what you think. That's what you think. You're actually choosing to be stressed. Initially, you, you are being stressed. Initially. Not the first. You know, you've got a big problem, or you've got an enemy, or somebody hurt you, or you're going through, you know, you're, you're, oh, this is stressful, this is heavy, this is, I'm getting worried, I'm getting anxious. But if you keep on doing that, you're already choosing to be stressed. And so what happens? When you realize, it hits you, it wakes you up, it slaps you on the face. I choose to be stressed. Huh? Then therefore, I can choose not to be stressed. Amen? Did you get that? One more time. I choose to be stressed. Therefore, I can choose not to be stressed. Surrender. Give your problem to God. Amen? And that's what we're going to do. We give our worries to the Lord. Here's number four. Number four is sin. Sin is the garbage that gives us so much stress. You know, before, before I go there, I forgot to, to, to read to you Mr. Anonymous, very famous man, who has many quotes. Unbelievable. The guy with the most quotes. He says, in marriage, it's a simple choice. You can be right, or you can be happy. You know, when you're married, you, you know this truth. I'm not talking about big hurts. No, no, no. I'm just talking about little irritants, little hurts here and there. Don't try to be right. Don't try to be right. Just try to be loving. And you will be happier. You will be happier. I have I've a... Here's something else. Have you ever experienced this? Will you be able to please everybody? Will you? No one. Amen? Tell someone beside you, you can't please everyone. so much for your monthly tithes and love offering to the Rigma family, without which this broadcast won't be possible. We know that God will reward you abundantly for your generosity. God bless you.